There are so many places you can visit in Japan, but we're a limited time to do it. The planning took a long time, and a few locations were removed, and a few were added in the process. These are gonna be a video series of where I went in 18 days in Japan, starting with day one in Tokyo. We're staying in Hamamatsucho, Tokyo, and our hotel is not very far from the Hamamatsucho train station. Uh, we also bought chair pass for 14 days, which we are gonna use, and this line is also included. So this is our first day, starting to explore Japan and it's raining like hell. Everything is wet. We are actually leaving Tokyo on our first day in Tokyo. Which is kind of funny because we came to Yokohama to check out a few places. It is not the best weather to walk outside. We have everything planned up again, so we cannot change anything. Yokohama Baseball Stadium is the home field of Yokohama Baseball Team. Yokohama Chinatown is one of the three Chinatowns in Japan, the others being in Kobe and Nagasaki. The wind is huge and the rain is not stopping. At the ticket office we are told that the Gundam is not going to move as usual due to the bad weather. The next location you want to see is perfect for rainy days like this, as it's located inside. It is the Nissan headquarters. Some of the newest cars are displayed in here. And you can also open the doors and sit in them. You can also find a lot of information about the history of Nissan. We were supposed to explore Tokyo, right? So it's time to head back to Yokohama Station and go to Tokyo. Japan has many animal cafes, cat cafes, dog cafes, and many more. We have arrived in one of them, which is Mini Pig Cafe in Harajuku. You need to book in advance as it is very busy. They give you a blanket with which you can cover and pigs love to lay on it and even fall asleep sometimes. The time to hang out with the pigs is half an hour. Time to go to our final destination of today, Shibuya. Shibuya. 
Shibuya is known for the largest pedestrian crossing in the world. On average, over 2.4 million people cross Shibuya crossing every day. Roughly 2,500 pedestrians on every crossing. It is time to check out what Japanese metalheads are up to. It was a really interesting experience, especially for the first time in Japan. The day has been long and it's time to call it a day. Tomorrow we continue to explore Tokyo, maybe it's not gonna rain for a change.